um, hey my dearest fam unless you live on mars you would be observing a constant and persistent targeting of hindu women by wicked virtue signaling fake liberals this cabal is trying to instill a sense of shame in women of hindu faith corrupt cabal goes on a blood thirsty rampage during navratri to derail a powerful celebration of female divinity yes yes of course every day is a day for the goddess but our ancestors recognized a requirement for earmark days for women just like how modern thinkers felt the need for an earth day for example each day is earth day but on one of those days we all come together and focus on mother earth on priority we discuss the pertinent issues challenges do course correction etc navratris are the og of such a concept on these nine nights we celebrate nine forms of the goddess with full understanding that we the hindu women have all been recognized as goddesses in hinduism my faith has instilled this in me from my birth that all my forms are divine when i am brahmacharini phase of my life i am as worthy of honor and reverence as i am in my kalratri phase of life on these days we work on ourselves to align with the pure version of whichever form of goddess we feel we are currently inhabiting navratris are days earmarked for women empowerment if the year has dragged you down due to some strife these days will nurture and connect you back to recognizing that you are the force that is running the world this is a time of personal reflection and also of community celebration there is no judgment or censure in fact there is no one prescribed way to participate in navratri there as are the many forms of the goddess so are the myriad ways to celebrate her some would undertake the karm kand some would chant mantras some would dress up and dance some would meditate on divinity some would all together bypass everything and you know what each way is the perfect way so in this reality can you imagine with what disdain hindu women look at these hindu phobic anti women ad slash content the images of battered women depicted as goddesses are pushed so hard on social media every year that when these pop up it's a reminder that navratri is around the corner yes i am sure that there is domestic abuse in some hindu households but it is not condoned by the hindu society or by hinduism unlike in dara hua faith where men have permission to discipline that is beat up their wives such is the acceptance for it that there are videos available online to teach the step by step method to do so we need to look no further than the head to toe cover to understand female subjugation methodology the tent as i like to call it is a constant reminder to women that since the men of dara hua religion are supposed to be hot blooded beasts that can go out of control with lust so women need to cover up always as per this wicked cabal navratri is a mating dance but suppressing women cruelly to ensure that women are made incapable of feeling any natural urges seems just about right to them instead of throwing light on such debilitating heinous regressive acts and working towards ensuring urgent relief for women's dignity the cabal keeps focusing on weird wokeness is wokeness a word Anyway I came across this stupid despo vogue the shahra post that read never draw a line around a woman trying to read patriarchy in lakshman rekha where there is none a reminder that the situation at the time was one where bhagwan ram was perhaps harmed and sita maiya was in a tiny unprotected cottage without any weapons 
Lakshman requested Sita Maya to not cross the Rekha till he was back. Can you imagine such toxic masculinity? It's not as if because Eve asked Abraham to take a bite of apple at the beginning of time that she and her daughters are suffering divine punishment of subjugation because of their stupidity. Till date, it was a protective Rekha that was valid just for that moment in time. Please understand, any of this propaganda is not innocently done. These sinister campaigns are a part of a large plan to subjugate us all. Abrahamic religions with the damnation of Eve have found a way to condone the women's subjugation. But with all-inclusive, compassionate Hinduism, the, the subjugators have to rely on creating a damaging mindset of shame, pretty much like what Lord Macaulay recommended. Hindu women are on target. Here I would like to share the example of Syria to explain this corrupt plan. Do you know that the whole of Middle East is against Syria? Do you know why? Because Syria is a secular state in a true sense. It has a sacrosanct constitution. Like a jewel in the Middle East, it is not ruled by the archaic Sharia law. Women are protected by the constitution and cannot be forced by Islam to do anything that, do, that they do not want to do. The vice president of Syria is a woman. The advisor to president is a woman. The president of the parliament is a woman. The very first female judge in the whole of Middle East is a Syrian woman. Minorities thrive in Syria and Assad has enacted a law that all girls must finish high school. Otherwise, their fathers could be jailed must to the chagrin of the neighbor Saudi Arabia where women have been denied basic human dignity. So then a worldwide campaign was run to destabilize Syria. So Islamic rule can be instituted there. Just optics clarify the whole situation of status of women uh, in places taken over by anti-Syrian forces and in the places with Syrian army. When a female CNN news person went to interview the moderate rebels, she was covered head to toe. But when she went to places that are under Syrian army, she was dressed as she normally would. So Syria is horrible and President Assad is a demon and the nation has seen the worst atrocities against humanity. Is anyone in the cabal creating awareness about the dangers faced by the Syrian women's freedom? Whenever I read about the struggles of the women of the Darahua religion, it just inspires me to not take Hinduism for granted. I see women in Iran protesting, knowing fully well that they can be thrown in jail. I read about women fighting the draconian Sharia system that may not change in their lifetime, yet they continue. When these women are so brave against such ghastly odds and continue to push for freedom, then why should we not push back against these wild, corrupt, lying, Hindu-phobic campaigns? This is my plea to Hindu women. Please don't let this subjugation propaganda slide without an honest intellectual resistance. Ma Durga inspires us to do just that. Good night and I will see you tomorrow.